Good morning everybody and welcome to another DFS video. Today we are going to show you how to grow crops. My name is Hel is Hell's Master Knight and I am the Halcinia King for the Bloodlines clan. Okay, so what is good about DFS growing? Well, it's nice, it's easy, it has different colours and it gives you a lot of enjoyment and it's not just a throw down on the ground system, wait for the timer and get something at the end of it. You actually have to be interactive and in any game that I look for, do videos for, it has to be interactive. I'm not interested in these fields where you just throw it down and wait. That's pointless, boring and dull. DFS is not boring and dull. So what do we need? Well, first of all, you see that we have three fields in front of us. Okay, we have a blue one, which has nothing in it. We have a green one, which is finished growing. And we have a purple one, which needs to be tended. And this is what we're going to be looking at. The first stage of this video is the field we're going to plant. So what you're going to need. First of all, you're going to, obviously you're going to need your field. <coughs> you're going to need your DFS hood on. You're going to need seed of your choice. You're going to need some fertilizer. Fertilizer can be, can be gotten from the shop or from cows, pigs, or from one of the local DFS markets that are either online or in world in Second Life from other players that play DFS. You're also going to need water. This can be obtained from the well. Okay, it needs to be a barrel. Buckets are only used for cookings. Barrels are used for growing. You can again buy these from um, the shop, buy it from the local market, or buy it from the marketplace on uh, Second Life. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is <coughs> showing you how to do it. So it's, it's quite easy. All you do, click on the field, and what you're going to do is you're going to have this menu. It says fertilize, water, security, or exit. So the two choices before you can even put in your seed is fertilizer or water. So what we're going to do is we're going to fertilize it. Okay. And what did that do? Let's see. Fertilizer. That's it. There you go. It's fertilized. So we now have the field fertilized. I should actually have local up. Let's see. Um, is local up there? I don't think so. Nearby chat. Okay, there we go. Sometimes I don't like, like um, having to fill the local open. Mm, don't think we need it. So we'll close it. Right, so the next thing is we're going to add water. Now, because we fertilised it, you can now plant a seed. We are going to water it first though. So there we go, it's looking. It's found two barrels now. It's found this barrel over here. And it's found a barrel that is over by the uh, cows. So we're just going to click on a barrel. And it did click it. <laughs> okay. And you can also see now that the field has changed colour. It's orange to me now. I'm slightly colour blind, so if it's slightly different colour, I do apologise, but I see it as orange. So an orange field shows you that it's been fertilised and it's got 100% water in it. It's still saying that it's got no, no seed. So this is quite easy. You're just going to click on the field and you're going to plant. Okay, so it's now asking you, what do you want to plant? Wheat or potato? Well, we're going to go with wheat because that's what I put next to the field. This is my wheat field. 
and there you go it's gone purple now the reason it's gone purple is because you haven't tended it I can't see see the purple very well but I did zoom in earlier on and have a look at it so when you've got your seed in you've got your water in and when you've got your fertilizer in the field will go purple okay so what you're going to do now is you're going to click on the field and you're going to click tending okay and then what you're going to do is you'll get a chair icon over the field you will sit there I'll just zoom back out there I'll turn off my AO and you can see now that I am tending the field what will happen is at a certain percentage should be very shortly there we go it's now turned white and you can see the seed has come through and you can see the status is now growing so in four days time we will have wheat or will we now this is the important thing and this is what we're going to go over to the purple field for now you don't have to do anything at all until that tending says 100% this is a new field you need to do 100% here Okay, like I said, it doesn't take long. Now you can see that we're slightly a little bit low in the um, animation there. Okay, but you know, I'll live with that. Now this is a tiny field. Now the, the difference between the tiny field and the large field is absolutely nothing except for them for the prims that you use okay they do exactly the same job you can now see that we've finished tending let me just move over here okay so if we now zoom into the field you can see that we've got the crops and if you look at the text here you can see that the status is growing we're growing wheat the growing time here is three days, 23 hours, 59 minutes and 30 seconds. Water is 100%, tending is 100% and it is fertilised. You only need to fertilise the field once every growing cycle. So when the wheat is finished and I plant something else, I need to fertilise the field again. You do not need to fertilize the field while it's growing. You do need to water it, <coughs> excuse me, and you do need to tend it. So this is what we're going to go over to the purple field for, which is this one, which is the big field. Now, I can't quite see what I'm growing here, unless I put it against a white background. So that's a nice thing that I've got this crop there so you can see that we're growing corn we've got two days five hours water is 44 percent tending is 24 percent and it is fertilized so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the field we're going to go tending and you see same again it's got the chair you sit on it and like I said with the bigger field you can see that we're actually sitting more on top of the field so you're not kind of sunk in so this is you know the, the the animations in the proper place but if you watch the tending it's going up there okay So we're just going to sit there. We're going to let it go, and we've got to let we're going to let let the uh, tending go. Now the tending might have stopped because we personally may have ran ran out of energy, 
and this is no, another thing that you need to remember you can't just go and tend all your fields unless you've got food now, how do I know that I need food well for a start I'm not getting no more tending it's stuck at 45 percent so that is a big indication okay so what we're also going to look at if I can click the right icon of course we're going to click this button here and then in nearby chat it's going to tell you here animal XP 1 cooking 0 competition 0 crafting 0 energy 0 of 102 farm 0 so I know for a fact I'm going to need food so I'm going to look into my inventory and I'm going to look in the inventory there and I'm going to type in DFS and what I'm going to look for is if I can find it a steak dinner now you get these in the starter pack or again you can buy these from other players you can buy it from the sh or you can buy it from the marketplace not too sure if you can buy them from the shop so we're going to close the inventory here okay we're going to open nearby chat you can see that I've got 102 we're going to click on that and we're going to eat now you can see now that I have 40 of 102 and you can see now that the tending of the field has gone back up so that is a good point in the DFS system okay a steak dinner will give you 40 energy now I don't know how long that energy lasts I don't know how they work it out but if you're tending something or you're doing something and it suddenly stops and sticks there check your energy and there you go that is also something I like with the DFS system as soon as the field is tended it automatically makes you stand up you can now see that the timer has restarted okay because you do need to make sure it's tended you do need to make sure it's got water you do need to make sure it's got fertilizer so if your timer is not ticking down for whatever reason check your water check your tending so the next thing is I'm going to want some more water so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to say water now we're going to have a look and it's found the other barrel over in the corner so we're going to click the barrel and it's only put 82% because it wasn't a full barrel of water so we're now going to go over to the well okay so we're now going to click the well and we're going to ask for a barrel in local it will say tell you to sit you see the chair icon okay and you can see if I turn around that I'm actually doing doing the water wheel and I will get a barrel in a couple of minutes okay so it's now requesting the barrel it's given me the barrel so I accept it and what I'm going to do is go to recent there's a barrel I'm going to put it by the well okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the field you see my AO is off so I'm walking like a stick figure so we're going to click on the field go to water go to barrel and there you go 100 percent if we now go back to this barrel you can see over here I've still got 82 units of water in there and that's it now if I click on this field which is green one I can't water it because I've got to harvest it so this is the next thing that we're going to be looking at is this smaller field is growing okay 
So even though I've got 72% water, I can't add any more to it. I can't tend it anymore because it's done. It's finished. So we're now going to harvest that. So you're going to have to sit again on the field to harvest it. Okay. Same animation. And there you go. You harvested it. It's requesting the item. Okay. And you accept the hay. And you accept the hay bale. And the nice thing with the DFS system is, we look at recent here, you'll see I've got a hay bale. Okay. That is for my um, cows. And I also got a seed. Okay. And that takes one day, 12 hours. So that is the nice thing with the fields. You will get a seed and you will get a bale. Now I've been told by the DFS group that you may get an extra seed or an extra bale depending on what the field is at the end of the growing cycle. So if everything is at 100% you have a small percentage to get an extra item. Now that extra item say the seed or the hay bale you can sell on the market okay now if we look at this it's now orange okay so growing growing time is zero water is 72 percent tending is zero and it is not fertilized now if you notice the image has not gone i don't know if, if that's a bug um or if that will disappear when we replant the um, fields. So hopefully, in my inventory, I have got some fertilizer. So again, we're gonna type in DFS. I haven't got to look for anything else because of DFS. Okay, and this is the fertilizer. So I'm gonna drag the fertilizer out there. And I'm very grateful for the lady that gave me <laughs> extra fertilizer. Otherwise, I would have had to stop the video by now. So what we're going to do now is, like I said, it's growing. So we're going to click on the field. And now you can see that we can fertilize it and we can water it. So we're going to water it. We've got 72% water. So water does not reset. Okay. Tending resets. And the seed resets but water does not so that's very very good because it means I've still got 54 units in my barrel here so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on here and we're going to fertilize <coughs> and then we're going to click the fertilizer because it's found the fertilizer now it's gone uh, what is it looks like yellow to me so we can now see that it's watered fertilized has no seed so we're going to click on here and this time we're going to plant the seed and it's found hay or potato so this time because i've got two hay bales and i've only got two cows i'm going to click the potato and again now you can see it's gone purple so we're going to check our stats here in local and you can see I've got 37 energy left. So that's okay. I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So we're going to click on the field. We're going to click tending. We're going to sit on the field. And you're going to see it's it's going up. If I leave it on that background. The tending is going up here. And there you go, it's now gone white. And there you go, the crop has changed. So you've got the new bits there. You've got, uh, if we can zoom in a bit on here. So 
you got little potato seedlings here okay and we're still going up so if we click on our energy here and we have a look in local we can see that we're still on 37 percent okay yeah that's my live team here so your energy goes a very very long way but if you look here my farming experience is 1 XP now we're not too sure what the XP does at the moment I'll have to work have to ask in group what the XP does um, and then we'll get back to you in a, another episode where we'll explain the HUD in more detail today we're just doing the fields so let's see how are we doing we're nearly finished there and there you go we now have the status of growing seeded potato growing time is four days water 100% tending 100% and it is fertilized and that ladies and gentlemen is how to grow and use your fields water fertilize seed tending check it every day make sure you have enough water make sure the field is tended and you will get good interactive crops when you use the DFS system I like it I've bought three fields each field has cost me a hundred lindens and from that I have still got you know a good return it's not expensive it's not difficult there's no extra packaging when you buy a field you just drag it from your inventory and slap it straight on the ground as long as you've got the fertilizer and the seeds and the water away you go I hope you have enjoyed this video any questions please leave a comment and I'll get back to you with, with um, the answer if I don't know it or if I not explained it correctly I will try and do another video and try and explain it better or I'll ask in group now don't forget to use this gaming system you'll need to be a member of second life okay this is not like farming simulator 2017 where it's a standalone game you need to be in second life second life is free to join don't forget to like and subscribe any donations are welcome we do twitch live streaming we do twitch donations we do patron <coughs> we do twitter and we have our own gift shop very good work dfs ladies and gentlemen keep it up we're going to be doing another video on how to use the well and how to do animals in up and coming videos have fun, stay safe, bye for now.